It's interesting that you say that camogie was there when really other sports weren't there for females for a long time, but now they've all caught up. And I'm wondering where camogie is now alongside all of these Ireland hockey teams and rugby teams and boxers that have come through. Yeah, that's fair uh, to say that we, we didn't have competition for a long number of years and now we have to compete for our players. And um, that makes us, uh, make, uh, makes us more, I suppose, critical of how we do things how, um, and how we, we have to improve ourselves all of the time because we're in a competitive market, there is no doubt. The other thing is that we're also uh, trying to cater for dual players, uh, not just within the Gaelic family sense, uh, but right across the board in terms of rugby and soccer. And uh, that means that we have to adapt again uh, to that changing uh, market, so to speak, and uh, to be mindful that we don't um, burn, out, uh, that there isn't burnout among our players, and uh, that our game is still attractive uh, to the young player. And I've, I've no doubt it is. I can see it within my own club. Um, the, uh, we have just started now um, a coaching programme within schools and there has been a tremendous feedback uh, from it. Uh, people like the uniqueness of our game and identify with it as being Irish. And in 2022 and in this particular week with International Women's Day, is Kamogi reflecting where young women are? Um, well, I think Camogie is reflecting, yes, in the context of that it's, a, uh, it's an all-embracing um, organisation insofar as that, right, we cater for the sport, but it's a, it's a member of a wider uh, community, as in the Gaelic Games. And I think it also is reflective of the community. Um, and we saw that, unfortunately, um, very recently and awfully, uh, through the tragic death of Ashley Murphy and how our association members uh, within their club in the first instance in her club um, supported that family and uh, will continue I'm sure to do so. What did that say about women in 2022 and about camogie in the current time do you think in the modern era? Well what it says about women is maybe that uh, we support one another. Uh, we identify with um, how uh, a tragic event of that nature uh, can uh, mobilise people, uh, bring out the best in people, and uh, the um, what sports means to people. Um, that it's it may be competitive, but it is also a social outlet for so many people. It is also a developing um, organisation. Uh, like many uh, women have developed through their involvement in Camogie, both on and off the field. So were you proud of the way that Camogie reacted to that tragedy? Oh, I was indeed, yes. And, and all of the Gaelic Games um, uh, organisations within the county and all commun in the entire um, county uh, and indeed the country at large and wider beyond. I think people identified with that, um, that incident, unfortunately. And you're from that part of the world? I am, yes. yes. So it was extra poignant for you? It was, yeah, yes. Now, I, I didn't know Ashley personally herself, although she would have um, played with um, uh, many of the girls within my club, but I would know her, her family. And um, it was obviously a great, great tragedy. And on the wider issue of women in sport and women in society, you know, the hashtag she was going for a run that just has touched on so many it did, of yeah. the modern yeah. things. Yeah. You know, it, was such uh, it was such a mundane type of an, uh, activity that she was engaged in. We all, we all, any one of us could have been uh, there at that particular time. And I read something just the other day, was it the president, about the president of the GAA talking about, you know, take a minute to talk to young men about this sort of thing as well, you know, and, the way, and their attitudes towards it. So it's really started a big, big conversation or, or maybe took the conversation to a different level. It is, yeah, there, there is no doubt. And um, I think it, uh, it's like any moment in time, uh, I always think of the occasion in which, um, not the occasion, the incident involving um, uh, the um, journalist, uh, Veronica Gearan, 
you know, it was a moment in time uh, and it made people stop and think. And, uh, you know, in that instance, it was about the freedom of speech. Uh, in the Mashley Murphy case, it was the freedom to be able to, social, uh, to do her social activity in the form of running in a safe manner.